Looking for the perfect small dog for your family? This series of all small dog breeds may make the decision a bit easier. Let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z, starting with the Cairn Terrier. If you haven't seen part 1, you can find a link for it and the other videos in the series in the description. Not Cairn Terrier. Cairn, one syllable. This is a confident, independent terrier which is loyal to his family and friendly to everyone. This small terrier breed is probably best known for his role as Toto in the 1939 classic The Wizard of Oz, played by a female cairn named Terry. The cairn has amazing adaptability which has allowed it to share homes with urban apartment dwellers, rural farm folk, and everything in between. Originally bred to dispatch vermin, this is a tough little dog with a muscular build who continues to be excellent at canine agility, confirmation, and terrier trials. If you are looking for a warm-spirited, independent, happy dog that is great with children, this might be the breed for you. There are two breeds of Corgi. The less popular, but equally as charming, is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Among the differences, the cardigan comes complete with a wagging tail. Devoted, affectionate, intelligent, and alert are just some of the terms that corgi owners use to describe their dogs. This goes for both breeds. Equally at home on the farm, in a suburban household, or in a city apartment, these dogs excel in obedience, tracking, agility, rally, herding, or just being a family companion. Speaking of family companions, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a companion dog through and through. Cavalier lovers use words such as lovable, sweet, gentle, playful, devoted, lap warmers, and bed companions to describe this cutie that has grown in popularity over the past few decades. A less puggy descendant of the English Toy Spaniel, which we'll visit later in this video, it has become one of the most popular breeds in its homeland, the UK, and is increasingly popular in the US. At 13 to 18 pounds, this is one of the largest dogs on the AKC's toy list, but still quite small for a Spaniel. These friendly, easy to train dogs are great with children and adaptable to almost any living situation. Outside of its native Czech Republic, you are not likely to run into the Kekski Terrier. They are extremely rare. The AKC estimates fewer than a thousand are in the US. But this is a tough little terrier bred to hunt hare, fox, and even deer that has transitioned well into the role of the family pet. It has a sweet and mild-mannered temperament coupled with an eagerness to please. It's also quite at home in any living situation, city or country with singles or with families with kids and other dogs. I have quite a few videos featuring the Chihuahua. They are a popular breed, rightly so. Available in both long-haired and short-coated varieties, both are quite low-maintenance dogs. There are a lot of good things we can say about the Chihuahua. It is loyal, to a fault, lovable, intelligent, and fun-loving. However, they do have a tendency to be left unsocialized, which often leads to a little terror. We're 100% going to blame this on the Karen types that raise them. Otherwise, this is an excellent family pet or even a companion for a retired single person. There are two types of Chinese Crusteds, the Powder Puff and the Hairless. Neither is completely hairless. While the Powder Puff has a full coat, the hairless has hair on his head, around the feet, and the tip of his tail. The rest of the dog is bald. It's quite cute. Originally bred as a ratter, this cheerful, happy, and devoted little dog is part of the AKC toy group. Although quite athletic, this little breed will be quite happy to spend the entire day vegging Netflix with you. There is a 95% chance that I am going to mispronounce this dog's name. In fact, I had never heard of the Chimeco del Etna prior to researching this video. Newly part of the AKC Hound Group, this little dog that resembles the larger pharaoh hound was bred in Sicily to hunt rabbits, hare, and birds. Strong and lively, yet gentle and affectionate, they are a good choice for families with children. The 
Cocker Spaniel, also called the American Cocker Spaniel, is an affectionate, gentle, and loving small spaniel breed that originates from the slightly larger English Springer Spaniel. In fact, the Cocker or Cocking Spaniel was once just a term for a small Springer Spaniel. Although originally a hunting dog, the Cocker has made itself at home as a family pet with its sweet, loyal, and playful, friendly-to-everyone personality. Originating in Mascar, the Côte de Tuller is an AKC toy breed related to the Bichon Frise, Maltese, and Havanese. Like those other Bichon breeds, the Côte de Tuller is devoted, highly intelligent, and quite clownish. Bred only for companionship throughout the centuries, these dogs are alert, happy, lively, and slow to anger. Cotons are not big into barking, but they can act as a watchdog alerting you when someone is at your door. Their sweet temperament, cute appearance, and clownish antics charm anyone who has the opportunity to get to know one. Some of my fondest memories as a child involve a miniature wiener dog ironically named Big Boy. This little dog would chase a toy until he literally collapsed. They are quite playful dogs. Coat-wise, they come in long-haired, smooth coat, and wired hair varieties. Size-wise, they most often come in miniature and much larger standard sizes, with a middle size also found in Germany. Keep in mind that the AKC does not recognize toy dachshunds. Curious, loving, intelligent, and comical are adjectives used to describe the dachshund. These dogs were bred to be hunters above and below the ground, and these traits are evident in their strong prey drive, their propensity to dig, and their fierce devotion to the task at hand, hence the chasing until exhaustion. While being a very sturdy breed, they are prone to problems with their long backs, so precautions should be taken when carrying and holding them. Like many terriers, the Dandy Denmont Terrier originates on the border between England and Scotland. Its original purpose was, like many terriers, to kill rats and other vermin. Today, they are known for their loving devotion to their families. Dandies are small and adorable with a personality to match. They are independent and intelligent and do great with kids and families. The Dandy Denmont Terrier has coined the nickname the Gentleman of the Terrier World. This could not be more accurate for this polite breed. If you or your family is in the market for a gentle, kind, and loyal pup that is quite rare and unique, then look no further than the Dandy Denmont Terrier. Originally bred to be a ratter, the Dutch Smoosh Hound is pretty much considered a companion breed today. Very loyal and bonded to their family, these dogs are less friendly to strangers. They make excellent watchdogs because they are alert, tend to bark, and are wary of anyone they don't know. Considered to be related to the Schnauzer, they are exceedingly rare outside of their home country, the Netherlands. Called King Charles Spaniel in the UK, the English Toy Spaniel is the forefather of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. At a glance, you might mistake one for the other. These dogs are calm, quiet, and dignified. However, don't let that proud look deceive you. They can be very clownish and playful, affectionate and loyal. Their small size makes them the perfect travel partner, and their quiet nature is a big plus for apartment dwellers. They do bark, but as a whole are not yappy like many other small dogs. My viewers love the Frenchie. It's one of the most covered breeds on this channel. It's quite popular not only in the US, but worldwide. A French Bulldog is both adorable and an amazing companion. If cuteness and best friend are on your must-have list, then you can get the best of both worlds from the French Bulldog. Like me, this breed is really good at sitting around and being cute. With their pushed in face, adorable snorting, and their bubbly personality, they're quite irresistible. The French Bulldog's most famous characteristics are their tail and erect bat ears. An ancient breed from, um, you guessed it, Germany, the German Spitz is a friendly, playful, and quite vocal companion and farm dog. The German Spitz is an affectionate and smart, parti-colored dog that loves to be with his pack. Their playful and curious energy is ideal both for families and individuals. Want a dog for the kids? 
This dog coexists well with the kids for a myriad of reasons. The first and most noticeable desirable quality is the dog's size. These dogs are not likely to injure smaller children on accident by bumping into or knocking them over. Enjoying learning about all these small dogs? Here's a link to the playlist or you can find the other videos in the description. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. And as always, catch you next time.